how thick should my aquaponics plant a bed or grow bed be stay tuned Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I have two planter bed on the top of my tilapia pond. And as I shared with you before, this is for academic purpose. And so a lot of the things that you would probably see in some of those astute aquaponics setup, you probably won't see it here and i do things the opposite way so as to get an anecdotal review as to um certain um results okay so into today's share today we're talking about how thick should your uh planter bed or grow bed be within your aquaponics setup now i have lettuce right yeah lettuce being planted and if you see, if you, if, you, if you have been following the videos, this is 50 something video, if you have been following the videos, you will see that I had once, I had here flourishing with a lot of, vet, um, with a lot of lettuce, right? And it looked, looked really awesome. Alright, so, it's not that I, I am just speaking off the top of my head, it's based off experience, right? Okay, so this planter bed is roughly about 4 inches in thickness this planter bed is about four four feet in thickness right so four feet or whatever yeah sorry four inches right four inches four inches in thickness right there are several factors to be considered when considering your planter bed depth one you have to look at um the the, the volume of this that will be going through your planter bed right these are like juvenile tilapia so the waste is like you know the solids are like larger than let's say if i was using my uh fingerlings right so these are my fingerlings the waist here is a little bit more smaller and softer than the larger ones okay so i'm, I'm getting somewhere i'm getting somewhere it's just that i need to actually show you where i'm coming from All right so the plant a bit thickness has to do with the volume of waste um, and this is just one factor the volume of waste that actually goes through the planter bed right you don't want the waste to be for example you make a one one inch or a two inch um one inch or a two inch planter bed in thickness and the the, the, the system just it, the water and the waste just slide through it and the waste is back into the system so therefore there's no filtration and the plants are you know not really feeling the nutrients amount of that waste all right so it has to do with the volume of waste one and two it has to do with what you're planting right and the root system now every plant that you plant within your aquaponic system have a rooting system for example cabbage one of the reasons why i could not plant more than one or two cabbage here is because cabbage when it reach a particular size you will now have to take it out of the aquaponic system cut off some of the roots and then replant it back because the root system is it, 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 it terrible when i say terrible i mean enough it's a lot right so having a root system like cabbage root system uh within a small space like this you'll find that at, at, at one point the the, the, the the roots will be going and clogging well will be going to the um the, the, the return hole for the water right i will be clogging it so therefore i would have to take it out trim it and place it back right the lettuce it has fibrous roots yes but it's not as many as the lettuce sorry as the cabbage i don't, I don't probably because i'm not drinking tea yet that's why my head kind of go first me say feet and now me i say cabbage anyway all right so the the the, the, the root system it plays a lot in the thickness of your your planter bed so one the volume of waste and two 
the plant that you're actually having in your system right three the amount of plants that you have in your system you don't want to um have uh, a lot of, of 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 plants within your aquaponic system the plant bed is not able to hold the amount of waste that the plants need and as a result so it, it goes back to number one so it goes back so the plant actually dies right you want a, a, a grow bed that is able to hold the um the waste so as to allow the roots of the of the plant to actually consume it <clears throat> okay so in going forward we have three factors listed so far let me review them one the volume of waste of the of the of the fish which goes back to the size of the fish that you have in the system and two the root system of the of the plant that you have within the aquaponic system and three it has to do with the, um, the amount of um plants that you have within the aquaponic system uh you're talking about thickness right it's it, it talking about the whole idea of um what's the purpose yeah, going on to the other now what's what's the real purpose of the aquaponic system is it for um your family domestic purpose or is it for um, commercial purpose right because the deeper you plant a bed um, you will need more material right and you will need more a higher volume of water water has to be more because remember the water is actually within your, your arm your, your, your pond and it is within your, your, your planter bed so right now I have water all the way up to here and water all the way up to here within the planter bed mixed with solids and so therefore if I was supposed to sit out all the water you know water um, probably the water level would increase by about two or three inches within the tooth so you're going to increase in, in, in water volume right and also you you, you, you want the, the, the plants to actually have the nutrients and it goes back to number two you want the, 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 the plants to actually have the nutrients in which it needs to grow because if the roots are not being facilitated well the roots are not getting the nutrients from the plant a bit right um, the leaf of the plant will get yellow white brown dye right and you'll find that the seeds are not germinated you find that um things are just not working out how it should right now having a aquaponic system set up within the back of your yard it is um it's very easy right it's very easy you can follow the, the ideas you have several different strategies in which a person use however as i shared in one of my previous video a lot of the things that we take for granted within aquaponics um, should not be taken for granted because it all boils down to a mathematical calculation the size of your pond versus the plant a bit size so therefore if you find that the, the pond water well the pond has a lot of fish that means the fish is going to produce a lot of waste that means you're going to have to have a, a broader area for the waste to actually sit in so that the plant can actually be used if not the waste is actually going to be returned to uh, the, 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 the system now as i shared with you in previous videos some persons use a pre-filtration mechanism right where in which um the diluted solids that exist within the water um if it is not used by the plant it is actually sieved out within the pre-filtration system before it actually before it is actually sent to the um the 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 the, 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 the pond itself right i i don't think the volume of fish and the fish waste in which i have um really necessitates me doing that so i do not have a pre-filtration system a pre-filtration system requires additional resources such as more, more piping it requires um you can't use gravity feed it requires more pump and it requires more technical um coordination as to the flow of water and probably you would now need 
to chime in with what you call a timer and so as to ensure that the pumps are not like running 24 hours and everything just work as clockwork with, with um you know with, with, with things just you know it's, it's on a timer all right so i came out here and i i i i started about the thickness of your your, your plant a bit your grow bed i know i'm going into something else but it is of importance that i speak about that right um so your plant a bit thickness this could be a little bit thicker it's be a little bit thicker and, and if it's a little bit thicker and a little bit wider i could plant several head of cabbage in it because the roots now would have space to go around and you know gather what it needs together so that the cabbage will look really awesome but i have lettuce and lettuce doesn't really need that amount of space lettuce can be grown in um a, a one gallon container right with good uh what i call it i mean like inside right i mean with, with good flow of water in the soil not not water that is cloggy but water that actually flow right and and the soil is new now um, have high levels of nutrients that would be okay for um, um that would be okay for the lettuce right so the thickness of your plant bed looks at several factors the nutri nutrient requirement of the plant you look at the volume of fish you look at the plant roots you look at really and truly what's the purpose Right, what kind of plant you're actually going to be using? Well, you're actually going to be planting within the system. So you, you look at all of this, it's not just you just have a one inch or a two inch. But I would suggest um, any any planter bed that is below four inches might be looking for trouble. Worse if you don't have a pre-penetration system. Right? So I would suggest four inches up. Some persons even have plants of it that is like 10 inches, which gives roots enough time to explore, right? But I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's that necessary to go that deep, right? And um, you know, we talk about this a little bit, a little bit more in in subsequent video. But for now, let's end it here, you know, in 12 minutes and add I me mean, rumbling and talking about a lot of things that is not pertinent to the topic. So. This is me again for another day. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out. Catch you next time. Bye bye.